Magandang tanghali, MPC. Happy New Year. At welcome sa first regular press briefing for 2020 with, of course, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel and Spokesperson, Attorney Salvador Panelo. Secretary. Good, good afternoon, man. MPC. Happy New Year to all of you. Any statement, sir? Or question? Daming absent, ah. <laughs> oh, di ba? Oh, bakante, oh. Nasa sila? Tulog? Wala siya. Si Joseph, wala. Uh, si Pia, wala rin. Ina. Si Joyce nandiyan. Ah, nakalib na ba sila? Si Ina, nakalib na? Ang <laughs> na. Si Henry, wala rin. El Presidente is not here. Statement, sir? Well, we welcome the ushering of the new year. We hope to have a better Philippines with the president doing what he has been doing. All his promises are being done. The fight against corruption, criminality, the drugs, and the improvement of the Filipinos' lives. He wants to have, at the end of his term, his countrymen enjoying a comfortable life and a lasting peace. Start on, sir. Question? Francis Wakefield, tapos si Alexis. Francis, first question. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, we heard may, may bago na raw AP Chief of Staff na napili si Pangulo. Uh, at ang turnover po ay sa may uh, Agina Hakam Aguinaldo on Saturday. Will the President be attending the event, sir? Unang-una, wala pang pinaparating sa akin. So I cannot respond to that. Wala pa akong natatanggap. Wala pa si schedule. Uh, Alexis? Mike, please. Uh, Secretary, you mm. just confirmed that there's a third senator, U.S. Senator, banned in the Philippines because of his support for the entry ban against officials behind the De Lima detention. Yes. Will the ban extend also to other senators who issued, who had issued resolution supporting De Lima before? I will have to ask the president. Lima yun eh, di ba? I will ask the president on that. So far, yung palang tatlo. But is it possible? I do not know. I'll have to ask the president. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Sec. Salamat, Alexis. Uh, Rose. Sir, um, any statement from the president regarding po dun sa latest po na incidente ng pagpas lang po sa UFW po natin sa Kuwait? Uh, and dole po ay nagpatupad na po ng partial deployment ban. Well, as we said earlier, the president is outraged by that. It is a, a violation of the agreement between these two countries. And the incident is under investigation. The Secretary of Labor, as you said, has already executed a partial deployment. Let's see if it becomes full deployment of the ban. Any, uh, any statement po from the government for the uh, Kuwaiti government dahil po sa nangyari po? That's the, st the statement made by Secretary Bello and myself are the statements of this government. Do we see total deployment ban in the future and ano po ang magiging uh, <clears throat> ano po ang magiging pinakadahilan para magpatupad ng total na deployment That depends, that depends. It, uh, another case of, another case of, another case of uh, abuse against. That will depend on the endorsement or recommendation of Secretary Bellio. Salamat, Rose. Uh, tungkol muna doon sa, ano, sa, Cedric, yun ang topic, ibang topic. Arian. 
Happy New Year, sir. Happy New Year. Sek, yung recent death po ng OFW, how does that affect our country's ties with Kuwait? Well, hindi ba, meron na kang partial, ano, Yes, sir, but on a government-to-government -government level, how would that affect? Well, hindi na affect doon na nga. <laughs> ano bang tawag mo doon? Are we considering cutting ties with Kuwait, sir, at oh, this point? Baka naman masyado ng seryoso yun. Tingnan natin how it develops. Pero sir, is that, uh, are we considering that at this point, pinag-aaralan po ba or hindi pa po? As I said earlier, depende yun sa rekomendasyon ni Secretary Bello. Okay sir, thank you. Salamat Arian. Still on the uh, same issue, shift na tayo. Wala pa. Sige, Cedric, uh, other matters. Happy New Year, sir. sir Happy uh, New Year. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, following the President's statement, sir, uh, in support of uh, Kaliwa Dam Project, Uh, yung Makabayan Block, sir, nag na rin ng statement ulit na saying it's a disastrous uh, plan daw for the pro for the country to proceed with the project. And may mga quote-unquote onerous uh, provisions daw doon po dun sa projects or sa contract. Uh, any uh, reaction, sir? First, did they explain why disastrous? Did they elaborate why it's disastrous? Number two, what are those onerous provisions? Yung mga sinasabi nila, sir, may mga provisions na talo ang uh, Pilipinas. Like, like what? Uh, yeah, they have to specify so we can respond accordingly. Uh, sir, if, if I may read, sir, kasi yes. may mga... Sir, sorry. Um... Okay. Uh, sinabi, sir, ni... Uh... Congressman Isagani Zarate, sir, may mga provision sa kontrata ng kalulugi ng Pilipinas. Uh, sa kanito magkaroon ng dispute, hindi ito maaaring i-resolve ba sa local courts. Dapat daw na dal da uh, dalhin sa China International Economic and Trade Arbitration Commission. Yung mga ganun provisions daw po na unfavorable sa Pilipinas, sir. I'm sure those who drafted the agreement know exactly whether or not those provisions will be disadvantages to this government. So since inapruba nila yan, palagay ko nagkaroon na ng checking dyan kung disadvantages nga wende. And I suppose, sir, the President will not agree with the, what the Congressman said, sir, na it, it is uh, one-sided, kumbaga, yung project. Eh, kung makita ni Presidente yung one-sided, di pareho rin nung sa water, di ba, ayaw niya ng onerous provisions. Thank you, sir. Salamat, Cedric. Um, other issue, Tina, tapos Bombo. Sir, good, good afternoon. Mm. Sir, meron na po ba schedule yung pagpirma ng Pangulo sa 2020 budget? Ang yeah. sabi ni Senator Soto, mukhang meron siyang info na January 6. Sir, how about from the President's side? Ang sabi niya sa akin, di ba, last time sabi niya, January, first week. Sir, uh, meron na po ba kayong alam na provisions that he might veto or... Wala may siyang binabanggit. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tina. Raymond. Sir, dun sa panukala lang ni... Sir, Happy New Year, New Year. Sir, yung sa panukala lang ni... Happy New Year? New Year! Oh, dear ang sinabi mo, parang you're referring to your wife, ba? <laughs> Sir, uh, anyway, oh. yung proposal because of the still high number of uh, injuries to mm. the firecracker-related injuries. Uh, of high the, number? Di ba? Ang laki nga ng reduction. Still, but uh, marami daw yung attributed to the even legal or the the legal uh, firecrackers. Sa ulo kasi. <laughs> so parang they are now Department of Secretary of Health Duke is now pushing for a bill for a total ban of uh, firecrackers in the country. Eh, siguro pabor si Presidente na sa Dabao nga, di ba? Meron siyang batas ng mayor ba siya. So most likely we expect him to certify it as urgent. Considering... That's pro probable. Mm -hmm. Thank you. MPC. Other issues? Joyce? Sir, sa pagpili lang ni Pangulong Duterte sa next AFP chief kay um, mm. Santos, anong basihan ni Pangulong Duterte when he chooses the chief of staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines? Unang-una, hindi ko pa alam kung na-choose niya na nga yung sinasabi mo. Kinonfirm na po ni Executive Secretary Medial Dea. 
Oh, edi kung kung na-confirm na, ibig sabihin, kinonsider ni Presidente lahat ng mga factors like competence, honesty, administrative ability, lahat yun, kinonsider ni President. And what is the President's message to the incoming AFP Chief of Staff? Ah, hindi ko pa alam. He hasn't given me any message. But, you know, every time, every time a government official is appointed by the President, ang palagi niya lang sinasabi, all I am asking is competence and honesty in your work. Yan ang palagi message niya. Sir, how about the next PNP chief? Oh, Do we have any more? Hindi ko sinabi niya dito muna kay, ano, kay DAL yung secretary Anyo. Until when yun, sir? Oh, hindi ba sabi niya hanggang kailan niya gusto? Kung he will decide. Follow up, uh, Raymond? So, ibig sabihin, until now, wala pa siyang nakikita sa lahat ng mga top contenders na honest and competent qualify for the PNP top hand. Obviously, that goes without saying. Thank you, sir. Salamat sa follow up, uh, Raymond. Alexis? Kasi, sec, dun sa speech previously ni Duterte, sabi niya, si Secretary Anyo daw munang humawak mm. para by the time they exit in two years, hindi na ganun kabigat yung problema. Mm. So, is he saying he won't appoint a PNP chief until the end of his term? Hindi natin alam kung yun nga ang ibig niya sabihin. Kasi naman, every, every pronouncement by the President is subject to change depending on the conditions prevailing at the time an announcement is made. If the conditions no longer obtain, then the president necessarily will have to change his stunt on a particular matter. Okay, sir. Follow up, Tina. Uh, sir, that, does it mean na lagi na lang may OIC sa PNP or may there, since the ILG secretary si Secretary Anyo, more on supervision lang siya? Wala kasi, naman sinabi si Presidente na yung OIC, wala na, di ba? So, I suppose, the so OIC So, we can say it's remains. status ko, sir. Status ko. No, no more four-star general. Muna. Because uh, four-star rank eh, belongs to the... Wala, wala, wala naman sinasabi si Presidente. Any message, sir, to the PNP regarding this, the President's order uh, in with regards their morale and guidance? Well, I think the message of the President is, is very clear, di ba? As far as he's concerned, may problema ang PNP, kaya si DLG Secretary Anyo muna. Thank you, uh, Tina. Arian? Sir, and other matters lang. Sir, sabi po ng DOH, yung auto, uh, 60% daw, sir, ng reported firework related injuries for the new year were from league were caused by legal fireworks mga quitties lucies fountain and sabi po ni DOH secretary Duque nakakainis kasi karamihan nung mga na-injure ay dahil sa legal na fireworks hindi po mga illegal anong may comment po ba yung palace dito sir are you plan is the palace planning to recommend a total ban on all fireworks Personal fireworks, sir. Di ba sir, kung si Presidente masusunod, gusto niya total ban. But marami rin nakikiusap na pwede namang i-regulate. So siguro, yan muna. Okay, sir. Pero sir, um, would the palace recommend uh, editing yung, mga, yung list ng mga legal fireworks natin? To limit? Hmm. I-limit pa hmm, po? Hindi ko pa alam yan. Depende siguro yan. Mag, ang magre-recommend yan yung mga agencies involved in the enforcement. Okay, sir. Thank you po. Salamat na rin. Follow up doon. Pagkatapos si Cedric. Pero, sec, given na uh, yun nga, 35% decrease daw in firecracker-related injuries, how would the palace assess yung campaign ng DOH with regard dun sa reminder na wag na magpapotok? Well, it should be relatively successful given the fact that there has been a downtrend in injuries. Despite the high 35 number. 35%. Malang rin ng 35%. Although high Tsaka parang. walang, walang deaths, ha? So far. Yun ang ano doon. Mm -hmm. Significant. There is no death. Unlike so, before. So relatively successful. Uh, I think so. From but, my point of view. So it's relatively lang. Kasi nga may high, injury, high number of injuries pa rin. Yeah, baka maiwasan pa yun. 
Hindi natin alam kung bakit, hindi ko rin maintin na bakit nagkaroon ng injuries. Kung... Gumamit pa. Personalizer. O di illegal pa rin. Akala ko ba legal? Legal. Mga kuitis lang naman. Careless. Hindi ba lang. Ano ba? Baka careless lang. Carelessness. Salamat, Sek. Salamat, Alexis. Cedric, balik tayo kay Cedric. Sir, Sir, what? Hello. Sir, water concession po, sir. Uh, sir, dininay na po ng Manila Water yung sinabi ni Pangulo na, na? na nangungolekta daw itong uh, Manila Water ng, uh, ng nangungolekta daw for treatment plant near Harrison. Ang sabi po ng uh, Manila Water po ay uh, hindi sila... Uh, Manila Water does not collect from the consumers for the cost of future projects, sir. Sir, baka po may information kayo. Saan po itong treatment plant na ito or saan po uh, nakuha ni Pangulo yung uh, information? Kasi sinasabi ng Manila Water... No such thing daw po. Hindi ba from the very beginning, nagbabayad tayo ng for water treatment na dapat mag-establish sila ng facility. Mulat sa pool pa yun eh, pero never naman sila nagtayo ng facility. Yun. Pero sir, ang sinasabi po nila, hindi sila nangongolekta for future uh, projects. And in fact, sir, meron pa daw 13 billion na pesos na uncollected pa raw po na expenditures. The President is not even referring to future projects. Ang nire-refer ni President ay mulat sa pool, dapat gumawa na kayo ng facility na hindi nyo ginawa. Meanwhile, sinisigil nyo kami, mga consumers. Hindi nyo naman ginawa. May information kayo, sir, saan po itong sa Harrison daw, near Harrison daw po na treatment plan? Meron silang treatment plan sa Harrison? Galing daw po kay Presidente. Na? Uh, near Harrison daw po, uh, treatment plan. Si Pangulo daw po ang nagsabi. Hindi, parang ang narinig ko sa kanya, sinasabi daw nila na meron daw dyan. Kung baga narinig niya na meron, pero ang alam niya nga wala. Mer the, 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 ano, the water concessioners confirm na meron? Exactly, yun ang sinasabi ni Presidente. Kaya lang, yan ang pagkaintindi ko sa speech niya. Kaya sabi nila, meron daw dyan. Hindi ko alam kung meron. Nasaan man yan. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Follow up, uh, Bambu Raymond. Follow up. Sir, previously, nagbanggit ang Pangulo na swak sa syndicated staff ha, itong pangilinan sa ka... Sino pa yung isa? Ayala. Ayala. Yung concessioners ng Manila din. Manatili ba itong, uh, totohanin ba ito ng Pangulo o hanggang banta lang? Or are we expecting actual filing of syndicated staff uh, against these two owners of... Uh, Pag sinabi ni Presidente, tutuluyan niya yan. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> eh, kung hanggang banta lang, at least kung talagang uh, sinabi niya na swak, eh, so meaning he has substantive evidence against the concessioners. The very evidence nga, yung kontrata mismo eh. Hindi ba sinasabi niya? It mirrors the provisions of the anti-graph. Lahat ng mga ginawa nila, labag sa anti-graph. So again, just for the record, we are expecting a case to be filed and not just a mere threat. Remember that the president is the chief enforcer of laws. And that is his duty. He would be reneging from his duty if he does not do that. Thank you. Salamat, Raymond. Uh, MPC, any more questions? Marizel, you're so silent today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Marizel, Marizel. Yeah. Sir, I don't know if it was already asked earlier, pero... <laughs> Just to be sure, bakit, sir, yung tatlong U.S. Senators lang yung pinapabar ni Presidente pagpasok ng Pilipinas? Why not all the 11 uh, sponsors? What's the logic behind that, sir? Siguro yung tatlo ang, mm, ano, ang lumalabas na silang masugid. Hindi pa natin alam yung iba. And what triggers, sir, the President na biglang maisama yung si Senator Markey? Hindi kasi lumabas sa, ano, lumo, parang lumalabas sa mga news items na very strong ang endorsement ni Marky. Another one, sir. Um, we were informed earlier na na-move pala yung mga events ni Presidente for today for tomorrow. What happened, sir? Ah, baka nagpapahinga si Presidente. 
holiday pa rin. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, Maricel. Alexis. Balik daw kay Alexis. Cla clarify ko lang yung sa makabayan, sec. So, the president is willing again to review yung kaliwadam deal kasi sinabi nyo kanina na if there are onerous provisions. Oo. Oh, that goes without saying. Ang presidente naman, basta may nag-point out sa kanya na merong onerous provision, tinitingnan ka agad yun. Kung hindi naka, kung nakaligtas man yun doon sa mga dapat tumingin, siya mismo, titingnan niya. Kahit sinabi niya na maring yun na yung last chance ng Manila to have water. Oo. Pwede mo naman tanggalin yung onerous provision, tuloy mo pa rin yung kontrata. Okay. Salamat, Sek. Thank you, Alexis. Other matters, uh, Joyce. Okay. Joyce, please. Follow-up lang, sir, sa tanong ni Mase. Sabi po ni Senator Bongo, masama daw po yung pakiramdam ni Pangulong Duterte ngayong araw, kaya hindi siya makakapunta dun sa Davao del Sur. How is the President po ba? The state of his condition and health? Eh, masama lang siguro pakiramdam. Eh, ordinary naman yun. Kahit ako, masama pakiramdam ko ngayon. <laughs> Pagkulang ang tulog mo, di ba? Natural lang yun. But Pero, after that, tomorrow, okay na naman yun. Pero sir, matagal naman siya sa Davo, so I think he already rested for a couple of days. Oh, so, pero marami rin siyang ginawa doon, di ba? He attended the Rizal tribute. Pumunta siya doon sa mga cancer victims. Pinisita niya yung ibang earthquake victims. Bigay siya ng mga check. Marami rin siyang ginawa. Eh. So, doon sa sinabi na masama ang pakiramdam, hindi naman to anything serious? Ay, ano lang yan. Ordinary masama ang pakiramdam ng isang 74-year-old. So there's nothing to be worried about. Oh, no. Okay. Thank you, sir. MPC? No more? Maraming salamat, Malacanang Press Corps. Maraming salamat, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel. Thank you. Spokesman, Secretary Salvador Panelo. Balik tayo sa Radio Pilipinas at PTV4.